we have a totally new volume of data which we can use to reconstruct the dynamics of cities complex system in more or less real time. So what we are doing with big data, with collective sensing, is to use the digital traces we all leave behind on a daily life, whenever we touch a phone, whenever we touch the internet and so on. And we aggregate all these data in an anonymous form to recreate the dynamics of the city, to reconstruct the history of the city, to reconstruct and perhaps to predict a bit of its future. So the debate of privacy until now has been very superficial in large cases in most, the vast majority of the cases. The essence of the privacy in the digital world is giving the possibility to individuals that share data about themselves for services and giving the, each individual a service, a capability of managing their own private information at least as good as they manage money. So we have to think of privacy in the same way that we deal with money. We have to think about banks of privacy, banks of information, we have to think about transactions of data and so on. The essence is that we have to be able to we have to be capable of creating technology that make that possible. Such a way we do not discuss privacy in generic terms, we discuss privacy in terms of the capability of each individual of controlling how its own data and the transaction of this data are managed.